oh my gosh guys look, look at no look at look at no okay no we gotta work with this we gotta work with i'm downloading that we gotta work with this so i have been so so excited to film this video for you guys i feel like i've said that about my last couple of videos but this one is particularly exciting because i feel like this is a game changer for designers for clothing brand owners for people like you and me this is an absolute game changer because i'm gonna show you guys how i went from this sketch that i sketched quickly this morning and turned it into this incredible 3d render that i can send off to my manufacturer and say make it like this or i can use that 3d render as part of content for my social media before the garment is even made this is a major key when it comes to things like pre-ordering and pre-orders and stuff like that because you can already start posting content of a garment that hasn't even been made yet because you've already got this beautiful 3d render of the garment that you are about to make and i'm so so glad to be working with new arc ai for this video so winter's coming we just have to accept the fact that our british summer has been absolutely pants and winter is coming with that in mind i have been dabbling in the idea of designing a downs jacket for shiva shiva i recently bought a downs jacket not recently like last year and i i must say i am absolutely in love with my long jacket my long coat and i really really wanted to design one for Shiva Shiva for winter time but I had an idea of like what sort of like silhouette shape and that that I want for it but that's basically as far as that sort of process has gone what I know about this program that i'm about to show you is the fact that it allows you to actually unleash your creativity like you can go from you know having an idea of what it is that you want created to actually with the help of ai coming up with a final product that you're gonna go ahead and send to your manufacturer and say okay boom this is actually what i want created so like i mentioned i was sketching i sketched this drawing of this downs jacket and i'm gonna be using new arc ai to basically help me bring this jacket to life so the first thing we're actually gonna do is take a picture of the sketch that i have drawn the best way that i found to actually take a picture of something that i've sketched is to actually go on notes and do it that way so you can like scan it and then actually send a scanned image to your phone so that's what i'm gonna do now so i've scanned that in and i'm just gonna open it in canva because i want to get rid of the white background in the image so that it's just a png image without a background so i'm gonna remove the background and i'm gonna click share download download this png i'm gonna make it a relatively large png transparent background and click download so now i'm going to go onto the new arc ai and i'm gonna log in and i'm gonna create a new project and i'm going to name this shiva shiva downs jacket and click OK. So we're now in New Arc AI, and the mode that we have selected is Universal. Now I'm going to import my image, and as you can see, you're allowed these different formats so PNG, JPEG, and this one. <laughs> this one is like when you like airdrop a picture that you've taken on your phone, that's how it usually appears. And the minimum is 300 by 300, but as mentioned, the bigger the better. So I'm going to click upload and I'm going to go to my desktop and i'm gonna find my puffer jacket image and open it so there is my image on the program so here on the prompt it wants you to describe exactly what you've actually put in as your image the more descriptive you are the better the outcome so the more prompts you give the program the more instructions you give the program the better one thing to bear in mind is that this program does not pick up color so as you can see from the image that i inputted i didn't bother like coloring it in because it doesn't pick up color so in the prompt i'm actually gonna put what color i potentially want this down jacket to be i can also describe sort of what fabric i want it to be made out of but because i'm not actually sure i'm probably gonna leave that part out what am i gonna type let's see i want it to be blue so i'm gonna say blue long puffer coat or long puff long puffer coat Maybe that might be better. Long puffer coat 
in blue on a mannequin. So I've described the length, I've described that it's a puffer coat. I want it in blue and I want the image to be on a mannequin. We can scroll down and we can have a look at these things. So you can adjust how much you want the AI to basically work. If you want it to be like basically follow exactly your instructions, you could toggle this down to accurate. If you want it balanced, you can just keep it in the middle. Or if you want it to basically take full reign, you can toggle it over to creative. I like to keep it balanced because obviously I need it to have a bit of me and a bit of it. If you want a little bit more information as to how to exactly write the prompts, you can easily just click this button here. If we carry on scrolling, you can decide how many output images you want. I'm I'm gonna stick with four if we click down here we've got some advanced settings so you can add things that you don't want in the image i'm not gonna dabble in this part i'm just gonna keep it very simple and i'm gonna generate these images and basically see what comes up and we're gonna work from there so i've clicked generate and let's see what comes up okay okay oh wow this is super interesting My proportions for my mannequin are definitely off, but I am definitely enjoying what they've come up with. I definitely like this image. I feel like we could definitely work with this image for sure. So I am gonna save that one. So if you're like happy with the direction that it's going in, but it's not quite there, we can actually go ahead and generate more images. So I'm gonna click generate four more and see what they come up with. I'm definitely liking this one. I'm liking this one a lot. So I think I am probably gonna download that one. I do like this one as well. Wow, this is really cool. I wanna play around with the colors now. So let's make, make it pink. Let's generate more images. Oh, it's quite cute in pink guys. I definitely do like this image so I'm going to download this one. I want to see what it looks like in black so I'm going to say make it black but I also want to see whether we can do it with no mannequin and no mannequin. Let's see what happens guys. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. Because I drew the mannequin it's always going to like come up. Save this one, download this one and I'm going to generate four more. And see what happens i really like the way that looks i'm gonna download this as well oh 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 guys these jackets oh i can't even decide which one i like the most this is crazy what i'm gonna do now is i'm going to give new arc ai all the creativity i'm gonna remove the color prompt and i, I just want to see i just want to see what it comes up with oh wow Okay. Now we're getting somewhere like this. This is sick. This is looking really, really good. I like this. I am going to come back here and I'm going to say, make it blue, make it blue. I like, I like the creativity here, but I want to see it in blue. So I'm going to generate more. Oh, yes, 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 yes. See, when you allow it to use its own creativity, they've even opened the ja they've opened the jacket. Wow. Now I want to see what happens if I give it a little less creativity. I want to see what happens. Maybe at creativity level of one. Long puffer coat on mannequin in black. Let's see what happens when we do that. It really kind of like strips it back and really focuses on the input image and also the prompt that you've put in. 
I guess dialing between accurate, balanced and creativity is literally just completely up to you. I guess perhaps if you're like a better drawer, you can lean a bit more towards accurate. But if you're somebody like me who isn't that great at drawing, maybe you can lean more towards creative. That is amazing. I am so excited to play around with some of the bomber jacket ideas that they have come up with. One more input that I want to make. I'm going to i'm gonna put it in the middle here and i'm gonna say long pop long puffer jacket on a mannequin in multi colors multi colors made from fur let's see i don't know whether i've done too much here but let's see what happens let's see oh it's kind of giving it like a fur oh like a fur hood oh my gosh guys look, look at no look at look at no okay no we gotta work with this we gotta work with i'm downloading that we gotta work with this so okay so we're gonna do nah look at this one look at this no okay we're gonna we're gonna keep going i thought i was gonna end there but we're gonna keep going long puffer jacket let's say brown because like fur is usually seen in brown i'm gonna do it here i'm gonna say make it brown i'm excited yeah, I definitely need to change it over here. This is my last, I promise. I just want to see. I just want to see. Ah. Oh. Yes. Look at this. That is dope. But I want to see this. I want more. I need more. Generate four more. I need more. Look at the shoes. They even made the shoes. Ah, oh, guys. They even made the shoes fluffy. Come on. I could literally be here forever yeah 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 <laughs> nah i'm done i'm done here so guys ai technology to bring your ideas to life what else what else do you need what else do you need sorry i'm genuinely excited but i just want to dive into a couple pointers just to end this video just so that i can ensure that you're getting the best out of this program and i am gonna have it linked in my description so you can start like using it playing around with it and just getting excited and getting as excited as i have in this video firstly you want to name the object in the sketch describe what you have in your image and what you want to get out of the generated images so you saw that I was like it's a puffer jacket I want it in this color and it's a long puffer jacket image that you put in has to match the prompt that you put in so you can't put an image of a cat and ask for a dog it needs to match it needs to make sense AI does a lot of work but you need to help AI out just to note the service does not see color so don't bother <laughs> with the color don't be like oh copy the color in the image because it's not going to pick it up if you want it to be pink say pink if you want it to be purple say purple etc note that every line that you put will be generated so please be mindful with some lines don't have like unnecessary things in the background because it will pick it up and position things in the way that you would see in real life so as you can see with my puffer jacket it was just like a straight on image of the puffer jacket the larger the image the better so try and make sure that your image actually occupies the most space on the image so as you can see i removed the background using canva for that reason so in order to get the most control out of the program make sure that you're as detailed in the prompt you can describe things like color the style the lighting i didn't quite double into lighting in there but you can like you can control lots of different aspects so guys I really, really hope that this video has been helpful and as exciting as I thought it was going to be because guys, this program is revolutionary. AI is the future. And I'm just so happy that New Arc AI reached out to me to create this video for them because honestly, this program is so good and I feel like it's just only gonna get better and it's made for people like you and I. So guys, I will have New Arc AI linked in the description. So please be sure to check it out have a play around guys at the very least have a play around with those designs guys and in the meantime i will catch you in my very next video goodbye